here. So today I am going to bring you a video that I have never done before, which is I recently went on a little weekend trip. It was really just to visit my parents and you know, I just brought along some makeup and I thought I would show you what I brought on my weekend trip. Um, and I think it's gonna be useful because I kind of tried to condense it to bring multi-purpose products so that I didn't have to bring like a huge makeup bag because it was really just Friday to Sunday kind of thing, you know? So let's get into it. Okay, so for foundation and concealer, I just wanted to bring one of each. I didn't want options. I just wanted to bring something I knew that I really, really liked. So I decided to bring my Gosh CC Cream um, Illuminating Foundation. This is in O2 Ivory. This is one of my favorite, favorite foundations. It's so beautiful. It lasts a really long time. It really gives kind of that lit from within, but yet at the same time, it is super lightweight. And actually to apply this, I just use my fingers all the time with this. It just, it just goes on so well and blends so well just with your fingers. So that's why I really like this for traveling as well, because you don't have to mess with like a big foundation brush kind of thing. And then for concealer, I brought the Double Wear, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. This is in 1C Light. Now, I brought this, even though it's new to me, um, I have been only testing two concealers this whole month. Like I'm really getting deep into testing these two and I'm not using anything else. So that's why I brought this, but I, I had already used this a while and I knew that I liked it. Um, so this has a doe foot applicator. This really, really reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. Although I think this one has a little bit more coverage. And I'm actually wearing this one today. This does really well with baking as well. Um, so I really have been liking this a lot. Now as for eyebrows, again, just wanted to keep it simple. So I brought um, the Urban Decay Brow Beater Microfine Brow Pencil. So this has the product on one side and then it has a spoolie on the other side. So again, just eliminating an extra thing to bring. Um, this, I don't like it as much as the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but it is a close second. Like it is a good product. I am wearing it today. Um, this shade is in dark. I I haven't been able to find a good match in this. The other one I had was a little too warm and light. This one I think is maybe a touch too dark on me, but it's okay. I'm dealing with it. I think it's pretty good. Um, and then of course, just the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is just like the perfect clear brow gel ever. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's just so good. It just keeps your eyebrows in place. Um, it's just like super glue. It's just awesome. I really love that. This is my absolute favorite, just all over face powder. This is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Now, it does come with a little spongy thing. I have never used that. What I use is just, you know, a powder brush. So, as you can see, I've hit pan on this. I love this so much. It just, especially if you're oily, it's such a good powder. It just melds in with your skin. It doesn't sit on top of your skin. It does not make you look cakey. It takes away any oiliness, mattifies instantly. Love this powder so, so, so much. Now, I didn't bring a powder brush. I decided that I would play it a little fast and loose and just bring a blush brush. And I figured I could use this for my face powder and for my blush. So that's what I did. I just didn't want too many brushes. It worked out okay. Maybe not the best solution, because you do have to clean it kind of in between, get all the pink off before you start using powder again. But it was an okay decision. Um, for contour, I, you know, honestly guys, lately I haven't really been contouring. I've been mostly just bronzing. But I knew I was just gonna be at my parents' house. I didn't really need a contour kind of thing. But I brought this anyway, mostly because I love this side for setting my under eye with. So this is actually the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in Dol Dolce de Leche. This side I love for setting my under eye. And I did bring uh, Morphe M438. This is really great for setting your under eye with. If you're not gonna bake, you can contour with this as well, you know? So this is just a really good multi-purpose palette. So if you do need a contour, or if you're the kind of person who really loves to contour, this is really great because it's kind of like a two-in-one. I also brought my Real Technique sponge. Now this one has actually seen many better days. It's kind of ripped up, it's kind of stained, but it still works really well. So I brought this just for my concealer. Um, and if I wanted to, I could use it for my CC cream as well. But I just really love this 
for under the eyes. It's so soft. It's just as nice as the Beauty Blender. Like honestly, you can save your money on the Beauty Blender and use this instead. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. They're all over the place. Really, really love this sponge. For eyes, I brought an old standard for me. This is the Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. Now, you can't get this anymore, but Anastasia in general makes beautiful, amazing, perfectly blendable, gorgeous eyeshadows. Um, I know they just came out with a new palette, the Modern Renaissance. I'm thinking about getting it because I really do love Anastasia palettes and, um, you know, but I'm kind of on the fence. But reason I'm mentioning that is because every Anastasia palette comes with this little guy. This is such a good eye brush. Now, it is double-ended, obviously. Each side is multi-purpose. So, okay, we all know often the brushes you get in a palette are just garbage. Like, most of the time, they're just unusable. Why'd you even put them in here? I'd rather you just kept it so I didn't have to bother with it. But these Anastasia brushes are amazing. They really, really are. So this side with the blending side is just perfect. You can use it for every single step. I just go in with, you know, lightest to darkest. That way I don't have to clean it off in between. If I'm building up in my crease, doing a little outer V action, my transition shade, whatever, I use all of it with this side. And then this side is perfect because you can use the side of it for like whatever your lid shade is you just lay it down flat and then because it is like kind of fluffy and small at the same time you can use it for under the eye as well so this brush is just amazing and that's really why i like to bring this palette with me when i travel mostly is just because of this brush because then i do not need any other eye brush i have exactly what i need right here i just brought my mac painterly paint pot just because it evens out skin tone on my eyelids it's just a perfect base it helps my eyeshadow last all day long i just love it okay last three things eyeliner i brought my stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner now over the last three to five months maybe i have been just die hard for my kat von d tattoo liner i love it it is a brush tip it is beautiful it's amazing but i had this in my collection and i've honestly been feeling a little bit neglectful of it a little bit guilty for not using it because it is an awesome awesome eyeliner this is a felt tip so some people don't like felt tip some people love felt tip it just depends what you like but it's just a really great eyeliner like look it's just intense black it goes on so well um you can create a beautiful wing with it as well it's just such a good eyeliner so i brought that one instead of the cap on d and i also brought for mascara i just brought this travel size of the ysl uh, mascara volume effect faux sills so this one i actually did like an all-day wear test on it when i first got it and i fell in love with it it is a beautiful beautiful lengthening separating mascara it's actually what i'm wearing today when i am not going to wear false lashes this is what i like to wear because it just lengthens and separates so well um it doesn't give too much volume but it definitely like you get the black pigment you get lengthened so i really really like it i didn't bring um what should we call it i didn't bring an eyelash curler i don't know if maybe i just forgot but i'm honestly i forget a lot of time to use it anyway even when it's right in front of me so if you are a diehard eyelash curler gal you might want to include that as well but i didn't and very last thing for blush and highlight, I decided to bring my Jaclyn Hill palette because again, it's all in one. Um, you get three blushes, oops. you have three blushes, two highlights, and a huge mirror. So this mirror is actually awesome because, you know, it can sit up and you have like, look at how big that mirror is next to my face. It's just a nice big mirror. So, cause you know, when you travel, sometimes you're dealing with tiny little mirrors. Um, so this is awesome for that but also again you get the options of three different blushes the highlights and you can mix and match so today i'm actually just wearing this one on my cheeks this is what is this pample mousse i don't know about that name no wait is that right yeah pample mousse i don't know about that name you guys but it is very pretty this out of all of them i think is the most pigmented and then this one here is just kind of like it's almost leaning 
towards a bronzer shade but it does have a little bit more peach than brown in it so just kind of a nice everyday blush and then this one honestly it is very pretty but it is not very different to a lot of things that I have like I have um, the MAC mineralized blushes it really reminds me of those and even the Laura Mercier second skin in Lotus pink like there this color I think is very very dupable and not all that unique but it is pretty like it's, it's quite pretty. And for traveling, bringing any kind of multi-product face palette is such a good idea because you have options and you only have to bring one thing. Okay guys, so that's it. I think I packed really well. If I had to add any one thing, I think the only thing I would have added is just a face powder brush. Um, I think multi-purposing my blush brush was not really the best idea in the world. But other than that, I am very, very happy with how I packed this time. So. Um, if you guys have any tips for how to pack for a weekend away with your makeup, leave them in the comments below. And other than that, thanks for spending time with me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye!